Welcome to this uh, edition of the Etihad Cargo Connections. Um, and welcome to you. Uh, it has been an absolute pleasure to have your confirmation, uh, Mr. Mead, on um, first of all, hearing that Lafayette will be coming to Bahrain. And secondly, thank you for joining us in this interview today. You're very welcome. I'm delighted to be going to Bahrain. <laughs> And delighted Lafayette is is getting himself all dickied up for this evening. He's leaving this evening. <laughs> oh, fantastic! And when does he arrive? Is it a straight flight? Ah, uh, no. He has to. He has to wait over for. Um, he's is a twenty four hour delay before he gets going. It's just in in the UK. So he's he goes from Ireland to the UK, and then he has a, tw a twenty four hour stop before he goes again. Oh, fantastic! Okay, so hopefully he should be in Bahrain on Friday. Yes, I would hope so. I would hope Friday so. is a holiday there, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he should have a decent break. Okay, I'll tell him to mind himself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, how is Lafayette um, doing? I mean, after his run? Yeah, uh, very good. He His last run wouldn't really look as good as, as he really is. But the reason for that being that after he ran uh, the previous time, we knew he was going to Bahrain and we decided to give him a little break and let him ease down for a while. So then when we ran him the last time, he wasn't just as revved up as we would hope he will be in Bahrain. Mm -hmm. So he, the ground turned up to be very, very soft that day and he got very tired in the, in the last four long. But uh, I think we have him in a very good place now, and he's done a lot of work since then. And touch wood, at the moment, he's in very good. We think he's in very good shape. Oh, fantastic! And um, why did you think that he was a good fit for Bahrain? I mean, where does this bringing him to Bahrain? How did that conversation start? Well, what happened? He won. He won uh, a race at the Curra, um Stakes race at the Curra, which uh, gave him an invite to the to Bahrain, mm -hmm. and it's the the race has worth one million, and uh, with with an invite like that, and it's over the right trip, a mile and a quarter mm -hmm. is is mm -hmm. ideal. Um, so uh, once we we had the invite, then we thought we we. We surely go because at, at, it's the end of our season here now. We, mm -hmm. We're finished. We're finished just about. Uh, last weekend, so mm -hmm. like it, it, he he will be finished after his run in Bahrain. Oh, fair enough. So he's got a decent break before he starts again in April. I think your season starts that's, again in April. That's right. Yes, that's correct. Yes. So, do you have any plans of uh, if he does well in Bahrain to keep him going to Dubai or Saudi? We haven't any. We haven't thought about that now so far. We 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 take one step at a time. Obviously, if he if he did do very well in Bahrain, maybe it would be it might become a, a possibility. Uh, the problem with with um, Lafayette is that unfortunately, uh, his he runs his owner is Mrs. Patricia Hunt, but mm -hmm. her husband is the man who had the, was really the the, the brains behind their horses and unfortunately uh he died in the middle of the summer and uh so uh we're a bit up in the air as far as um what's happening next well they, they've they've decided they're going to keep lafayette because he was the best horse they had and, and uh, uh one of their sons is going out is going out to bahrain to to see him run fantastic. that's fantastic hopefully we uh, hopefully we get to see him uh in bahrain you're coming as well i think Oh, yeah, yes, we're looking forward to it, really looking forward to going. We're we're heading off next Tuesday, so we're looking forward to that. Brilliant. I hope to see you there. I, I hope so. <laughs> see, I'll recognize, I think if you look for a tall Indian woman, you will definitely find just the one wandering around. <laughs> looking a bit scatterbrained. I, I gave you the best looking woman around. I keep an eye out for you. Oh, you're a flatterer. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on the competition in Bahrain? What are your anything well, anybody uh, troubling you? Yes, <laughs> quite a few of them. Um, they it looks a very hot race this year, mm -hmm. much hotter than it has been over the last year. Like it, it looks very strong. Um, mm -hmm. It seems to have uh, attracted. Well, the prize money is so good. I suppose that's always going to be the concern that it would, or that reason it would attract good competition. But it does look very strong this year. Mm. 
No, it's got a. It's the the horses are just you know really well put out and strong horses. That so that's, that's right. Even though that... he's also a multi group winning horse. So I mean, ah, uh, yeah, no, he's a good. He's a, he's a, he's an older horse and he's he is a good horse. He's he's uh, he's capable of running a big race. Uh, he he is he is a a very decent horse. Mm. And have you given any thought to if he doesn't do Saudi or uh, Dubai, would you still sort of continue to race him in those sorts of races that you've targeted him at over the next two years in um, uh, Europe and continental in in the UK and continental Europe? Yes, <laughs> without a doubt. Yes, he will. He will. He will. He'll he'll race in the same. Same races right through again next season. That that we probably learned a little. I know he's going to be a bit older. But we learned plenty about him, but he's touch wood. He's been a very sound horse, and mm. uh, we've been able to race him. And, and uh, I think we can we can pick our way through the races next year even better than this year because we know where we should go and where we shouldn't. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Hopefully next year, if you don't come to Dubai this year, at least you can put him put put that on the map next year. Absolutely. Well, look, the boy is always open. If we, if we, if we thought, we'll see, we'll see how we get on in Bahrain first. Yes, absolutely. And there's a, the, with the carnival in place, there's so many options. Uh, with Bahrain, you're sort of re, you're, you're sort of relatively. You have to narrow down to one particular race, whereas Dubai or Saudi, they have plenty more races to go. Now, did you have any special preparation that you had to do with Lafayette? For Bahrain, well, obviously it's going into the winter here now, so mm-hmm. we've had to, he's had to get his hair cut, so he's had he's been clipped out. So we <laughs> instead of just half taking half the hair off, and we dug it all off him. So he's been clipped out to go to Bahrain. So hopefully that'll that'll keep him cool. Um, but other than that, he he's a horse that takes a lot of work. So I have done plenty of work with him before he's gone so I'm hoping he worked yesterday morning and we were very happy with that so hopefully now we we, we have him in good shape Fantastic um, Do you have any plans for any other runners in Bahrain? Have you actually looked at uh, Bahrain or the GCC? Have you looked at you know sort of coming to this part of the world before or was this the first time that you genuinely said no let's let's take him? No, this is the first time. I, I haven't even thought about going to it before. But obviously, we'll find out a little bit more about it when we're out there and we can see what what, what the future holds. Absolutely. It's a fantastic race course and it's a fantastic event. Um, I think, but- actually, I was at the race course. We were in, we did a um, a trip, a, a cruise in the Gulf a couple of years before COVID. Mm-hmm. And one on one of the trips, I think we actually did see the race course in Bahrain that that time, and uh, so I I think I I know what the track is like. Oh, fantastic! Okay, now now when when we get there, you can reconfirm that yes, this was the track I I was there at. <laughs> yes, hopefully <laughs> this is the track we want to win at. Exactly, and we want to keep winning it at that track. Yes. Um. Any. You know, have you considered any key challenges that you faced as far as uh, Bahrain is concerned? Um, well, any troubles? No, I, everything so far has gone very smoothly, but we haven't took it, taken off yet, so we don't know. But, but um, I suppose like training conditions are really what we'd be a little bit concerned about now, just to, as to what we're going to be training on, uh, mm-hmm. and. Uh, um, that's really the the only the only concern I have at the moment. Fantastic. Well, hopefully that should be your only concern, and that'll get sorted out once you land there. So yes, you you should be good to go. Um, if you had to sum up Bahrain and your entire journey, you know, at least from the way you look at it, how would you do it? Well, look. To be honest, it's a it's a it's, it's a complete new uh, venture for us. So it's very exciting, to be honest. Uh, mm-hmm. It's it's exciting to go and ex- exciting to be there, and for mm-hmm. such a big race, it really is exciting. No, oh, that's true. That's absolutely correct. It's been um, it's fantastic to see uh, international runners coming into Bahrain, um, and actually, you know, and 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 good quality international runners. So. It's been really uh, a pleasure to 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 see such uh, such a field come together. 
Yes, well, I suppose the the prize money is very good, and that's going to bring the, the prize money brings the brings the horses. Absolutely. So, just to put a tinkle in your ear, uh, we summed up the prize money in Dubai and Saudi. We've not yet got to the Bahrain summing up of Bahrain yet, uh, but we've summed up Dubai and Saudi, and that came to about one hundred and eight million US dollars. Yeah, just amazing. between those two create those two countries. Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. Phenomenal money. Yes, it is really phenomenal money. <laughs> when you think, we're, we're like our prize money is is much much better than the UK, but still uh, not in the, anything like the league of that. It's incredible money. No, this is fantastic. This was they announced uh, upgrades this year. The Middle East, uh, both these uh, bodies announced upgrades, and that's what we. Uh, that's why we said, okay, let's figure out how much this comes to, and um, that 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 was the end result. Um, yes. So hopefully, we'll see you in Bahrain over the next two, one week's time. In a week's time. In a week's time. In a week's time. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> Same here. So, do you fly direct to Bahrain, or do you fly via uh, UK? Via UK, we fly fly into Heathrow and then on. So From we there. have to change. Change there, we're changing from Heathrow. We fly from London. We fly to London and then to and then to Bahrain. Fantastic! So that should be a fun trip, fun trip into UK, and then a fun trip down to Bahrain. Absolutely, really looking forward to it. <laughs> Same here. Take care of yourself. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you. Cheers.